I checked out a book from the library called The Once and Future King about King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table. Recently, Alexander was upgraded to the Nucleus 5. And follow the king, then follow me. When I got my Nucleus 5 and I compared it with my old implant, it was smaller and much thinner. And when I put it on, words like different, it was like instead of different, um, it was like different, and I could hear the team was sharper and clear, and it was normal. I wonder how Mr. Sampson and his knights ended up with a sword if the lady took it. She doesn't even know it's there, and most of the time, nobody else does either. This new device was backwards compatible, and we don't have to go back and do a, another surgery to have a new device implanted. Alexandra enjoys the Nucleus 5's remote. She uses it when she uses the phone. She can just switch it right over with ease without having to take her implant off. She can also switch her programs, which one she wants to be in at just a button. So am I doing it right, Douglas? Um. Well, Cochlear was a company that was kind of like an extended family to me. They quickly um, would answer my questions and, and they didn't make me feel like they were silly questions. Oops. <laughs> we still needed more answers on how best can we make this equipment work for our daughter. And they really were there for us. We found that the product is very, very reliable. This is something she's going to have for the rest of her life. I play soccer with my implants on. They don't fall off because they're pretty secure on my head. It doesn't really matter what position I'm in, I can still hear the coach from across the field. With the new Nucleus 5, the world is opened up to her again. She can do anything she wants.